two satellites, P and Q, of the same mass are in circular orbits around the Earth. The radius of the orbit of Q is three times that of P. Which one of the following statements is correct? All right, so let's write some of this information down. They both have the same mass. So the mass of P is equal to the mass of Q, and let's just say that those two masses are equal to M. They have circular orbits, so we can use the centripetal force equations. The radius of the orbit of Q, RQ, is three times the radius of P. Okay, so let's just go through each of the individual options. Let's start with A. Kinetic energy of P is greater than that of Q. So you can derive an equation for kinetic energy, but it's a bit long. It's easier to just figure out how the speed would vary for the two satellites. So if we equate gravitational force to centripetal force, use mv squared over r because we're after speed, cancel out these m's, cancel out a factor of r, we see that v squared is proportional, equal to rather, gm over r, and kinetic energy is half mv squared, so the masses are the same for both satellites, so kinetic energy is proportional to v squared. So we see from this equation, What's changing, well, this mass here is the mass of the Earth. So we see that V squared is proportional to 1 over R, and therefore, because kinetic energy is proportional to V squared, V squared is proportional to 1 over R, then kinetic energy is proportional to 1 over R. Okay, so the option says, kinetic energy of P is bigger than that of Q. So Q has a larger distance, Q is further away. Maybe I'll actually rearrange that for RP. RP is equal to a third of RQ. So P has a smaller distance away than Q does. So if P's distance is smaller, we're doing one over that. If P's distance is smaller than Q's, that means P's kinetic energy will be bigger because one over a smaller number will give you a larger number. So. P will then have a greater kinetic energy than Q, so the answer is A. A is correct. But let's go through the rest of the options as well in case you weren't sure about how any of those worked. So we'll go over B next. So the weight of P is three times that of Q. Weight is just gravitational force. So gravitational force again is GMM over R squared. This is the force and again the masses are both the same, so mass of the Earth, mass of the satellites are the same. G is a constant. So force is proportional to 1 over r squared. So it says the weight of p is 3 times that of q. Okay, so q, we're going from q to p. We see from this that the radius thirds when going from q to p. That's what we see from this equation here. rp is a third of rq. So a third q's radius, and we get p's. Force is proportional to 1 over r squared. So force will then get multiplied by 1 over 1 over 3 squared, which is the same thing as 9. So P's force would be 9 times bigger, and therefore the weight of P would be 9 times that of Q. So it's not B. For C, the time period. Okay, so for time period, the equation that we can use, we can use Kepler's third law, T squared is proportional to R cubed. And you can derive that by equating the gravitational force to m omega squared r. But we don't need to derive it. If you know that t squared is proportional to r cubed from Kepler's third law, that's all we need. The time period of p is greater than that of q. So from this proportionality that we have here, the bigger the orbital radius, the bigger the time period. q has a greater radius. q's radius of orbit is three times bigger than that of p's. And therefore, q will have a bigger time period C says that P has a greater time period, so therefore that's why C is wrong. And finally for D, the speed of P is three times that of Q, so again we're going to use proportionalities. Orbital speed is equal to gm over r. We derived that up here. So then we can see that v squared is proportional to 1 over r. The numerator is constant or r constants, g is a constant, m is the mass of the earth. So V is proportional to 1 over R. So we're going from, we're comparing the speed of P, we're saying that the speed of P is 3 times that of Q. Okay, so when going from Q to P, we actually have some of it written down here already. The radius thirds, 
and we see that v squared is proportional to 1 over r, so v is proportional to 1 over root r. So then v would get multiplied by, if r changes by this factor, we just replace the r over here with the factor by which it changes, so root a third. And 1 over root a third is the same thing as root 3. So that means, so when going from q to p, the speed gets multiplied by root 3. So vp is root 3 lots of vp, of vq, sorry. And then going up to the option, it says the speed of p is 3 times that of q. The speed of p is root 3 times that of q. And that's why it's not d.